2020, the year that the world was thrown into crisis. The lifestyle that we had always known was cast into turmoil before our very eyes. We were thrust into a harsh new reality. Although it is a different issue, marine plastic pollution is becoming a severe problem, and it's estimated that by the year 2050, there may be more plastics in the ocean than fish. Countries, governments, companies, individuals, from each of these perspectives, each person's awareness and actions will protect the future of our oceans. A critical amount of plastic waste in Ukraine reaches neighbor countries through international rivers and finally damage marine environment. The growing popularity of online retail and food delivery apps is contributing to the rise in the plastic waste. It is very difficult to reduce single plastics and now we are facing the risk of not having enough space for landfill. Jakarta has issued a regulation to prohibit the use of plastic bags. However, it might still be difficult. And in order to achieve it, we need environmental education, a proper waste management system, and of course, efficient plastic recovery technologies. It is possible to be able to impact our environment positively by our own actions. Uh, just one positive action is enough to change our society. Plastic pollution is one of the most visible signs of our unsustainable production and consumption. It's a global crisis that is threatening the environment, threatening human health, and threatening our economies across the world. This global crisis requires an urgent global response. The Osaka Blue Ocean Vision, a plan to reduce additional pollution by marine plastic litter to zero by 2050, was adopted at the G20 Osaka Summit. As the host, Osaka is taking the lead in solving the problem of marine plastic pollution. This moment is a turning point for humanity. There are two courses of action that we must take to eliminate marine plastic pollution. Reduce and recycle. Kaneka Biodegradable Polymer Green Planet is 100% biomass product and decomposed even in marine water. Kaneka is a company and its driving force is R&D. Through the history of Kaneka, we are very strong at both of polymer science and fermentation biotechnologies. We are focusing on product development in application of single-use plastic such as straw cutlery packaging films. Our activity in the field of food service and packaging by contacting brand holders globally. In 2019, Japanese government hosted G20 summit in Osaka and they adopted Blue Ocean Vision. By this vision, our business is very much encouraged and assisted by Japanese government. Main material is limestone. The limestone is an abundant natural resources uh, that can be um, mined all over the world. Uh, so it can be built up to small supply chain, uh, which means uh, production and consumption in local. Limex will be uh, more environmental friendly products. Job change to TBM is a big milestone to me. Uh, when I, uh, I get to the 50s, I just bring back my memories, my careers. So at that time, so I decided to uh, bring back to the, uh, the origin uh, what I want to do. Cellulose acetate is made from cellulose obtained from non-edible plants and acetic acid. The acetic acid is the main constituent of vinegar. Uh, it is attracting attention at the biomass and the biodegradable polymer. Currently, uh, main biodegradable materials are not in widespread use because of uh, insufficient supply capacity. 
dye cell has been a supplier of cellulose acetate since the 1930s, providing over 100,000 tons per year. Dye cell plans to promote cellulose acetate for use in the field, where application has historically been difficult due to limited capacity and high cost. Dye cell have developed a highly marine biodegradable form of cellulose acetate, Kafubro, leave a legacy of clean blue ocean for my children and grandchildren. We have developed new technology to produce ethanol from any combustible waste. In our technology, the combustible waste doesn't need to be separated into plastics and other garbage. First, we get gas from the waste, and then the gas is refined. Next, the refined gas is converted to ethanol by microbes, which is developed by American company Lanzatec. The ethanol from the waste can be used to produce new plastics. We are the first company to establish this new ethanol production technology in the world. We repeated the experiment again and again, and finally, I was able to understand the feelings of the microbes. Through this success, we believe that we can apply our technology to produce new chemicals in the future. Tore created the Antiplus brand of fiber from recycled plastic bottles. Yellowing and other issues have admittedly arisen in producing fibers from these bottles today. Our improvements have resulted in the same quality and whiteness as from virgin synthetic foibles. The diverse use of the end press includes shirts, bottoms, outerwear and innerwear, and other regular clothing items, as well as blankets and other daily necessities. Applications for recycled materials are endless, so manufacturers are free to create all sorts of merchandise with them. Technological breakthroughs to create exceptionally white up signal and plus fiber from used plastic bottles took our fiber recycling business to a new level. And now we are trying the comprehensive approach. This approach has three parts. First, ease of recycling with packaging products made from mono materials. Second, film to film recycling. And third, stabilization of recyclable plastics quality. Every year, 300 million tons of plastic waste are generated globally. The half of them are actually packaging. On the other hand, the recycling ratio of packaging is as low as 14%. Though our continuous effort, we would like to contribute to plastic recycling, not only in Japan, but also in the world. The Paris Agreement in 2015 and SDGs have changed society's view on ESG. And we established Corporate Sustainability Division in 2018, leading to our plastic strategy with recycling as one of its pillars. We can change our future. In order to eliminate the marine plastic pollution that we caused carelessly in the past, we must try new methods as we aim for a brighter future for humanity. 
coexistence of past and future, we have reached the turning point. Since 2019, Osaka has been working toward zero plastic waste. Change has already begun here. Join us all in this movement. Together, let us achieve blue ocean. We are challenging to increase using recycled materials. We started from this dry EX process, partially made from plastic bottles. We will expand these action plans to other items to reduce CO2 emissions and waste. Start thinking about carrying an echo bag and a reusable bottle, and make environmental protection a priority. We are challenged to build a circular economy based on our initiative Green Challenge 2050. The bottle is 100% recycled from the bottles, collected from our customers. Let's join our recycling group to change the future. We are challenging to combat plastic pollution as part of planetary crisis, the climate crisis, the nature crisis, and the pollution crisis. We must take actions, our actions to save our planet for future generations. Think about the future of the sea and start thinking about reducing one-way plastics. Start thinking about teaching about the children the importance of garbage separation. Start thinking about what we can do for sea creatures. Protect our blue ocean together. This is your turning point.